once again. Captain's log, star date 05052017. On the first note for today, for this for this final Captain's log video for this week, um, starting with the shirt. Yes, I have finished it. As you have seen in all the videos and bug and bug graphs of which I've uploaded. I've actually gotten local praise for the shirt locally from other people. I hate I hate that haters have to feel like they continue hating. I'd like to see y'all do any better at sewing and mending. Not everybody has even a small skill level and instinct. It's simple. Put the needle in the thread and bob it from through piece of fabric. You think it's so simple? You try it. Go ahead. Try it for yourself. Anyway, as for the uh, sale of the shirt, I had to cancel that order. So, obviously I never received the payment from that lady in Wisconsin. And obviously her son will be quite disappointed. I feel for them as I feel for him as well, but she has been belaboring it. I've been more than patient. That's done, so I have not received any money for the shirt whatsoever, but it has been repaired, and that I am very proud of. Now, y'all think it the value is in it, but guess what? I think it makes it better in value. Not only does it uh, put it back into a better shape than it was before with all the holes mended and everything, it makes it more unique to the person that originally owned it. I can even offer uh, an example off the top of my head from that I've learned from watching Pawn Stars. Like there was that uh, baseball player who I think, I don't know if he was illiterate or never learned to write. Yeah, but, there, but he did a, draw, a drawing or some sort of artwork. Oh yeah, now I remember his name was Shoeless, Shoeless Joe Jackson. Yeah. Somebody came in with a drawing painting that came from Shoeless Joe and uh, had his signature as best as he could write it on there. But yeah, and I don't know how that came out, but anyway. Even before the final version of it was good or not, it, it was highly praised for its value by Rick Harrison or, who, or whoever it was at the pawn shop that time, I don't remember still good show good show anyway so let's see that's definitely one example so to take from that a paint a painting with a signature from somebody who was illiterate who was illiterate was able to do all that that's rare I have been I personally have been through number of years of art classes throughout my whole educational scholastic lifetime and throughout which I have learned lots of needlework including the needle point with the plastic and the hey if you want reference to that the one I did inspired by Banjo Kazooie that's in the front of one of the slideshow photographs there somewhere so you take all that to consideration I personally best as I could to my sewing ability and I could, I could not do a sewing machine. I tried to learn how to work a sewing machine from an internet video, but from watching how that worked, it just seemed too complicated, too over my head. So I did all this patiently over five nights. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night. By hand, starting with the right sleeve, which had more, which had the really big hole here and here. And looks like I got a little, I should do a little bit more work in the armpit in the back here. I missed a little bit. Came undone. I'll have to fix that. I'm going to fix that tonight. But aside from that, left arm, look at that. Great job on the left arm. And bottom of the shirt. Fixed all that stitching here and there. And all the holes on the front and back of the shirt. I 
patched up the collar, front and back, and put my name on it. So that's my autograph right there. And it would have gotten in a frame that would be lockable, open and closed from the front, would have the certificate of authenticity from me. Regardless if y'all think whether I did a good job or not, and obviously I should I have a little bit to redo here and there, but that's beside from the point I do that bear one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. So that's that. Anyway, from all things concerned, this shirt is still very much valuable. It is still the one iconic shirt constantly, consistently drawn throughout my book series, my Science Chicago book series. Y'all kept asking about this shirt. It was in the laundry bag. It was, it continued to be damp from January 2014 to April 2017 because the other clothes in that same bag were wet too. And that's how, that's how it looked wet in that first photograph. But hey, one run through to the washer, the dryer, good and clean like it's, like it was all good. Just the holes remained, and I fixed up the majority of the holes. Still the same shirt. The one shirt, more than, over the years, this shirt is more than 14 years old. Very valuable. So there. Hmm. This way there. I should have this man angle towards me. Um. Alright, well enough of that rant. Um. Had another thought or two, I think. Um, right, oh yeah. So, aside from, so, yeah, I did not receive money for the shirt. But, yeah, I am in a financial cr uh, crisis once again. After an automatic draft for one of my bill payments, it took my bank account back into the red. So, that's why I am, at this, I am reminding everyone about the stamp album and the SIT certified drawings from 2014. Took them down by half. The stamp album with everything, with all the stamps included. No figure bonuses. No bonuses that. Just stamp. It's the extra stamps and all that. That's still listed in the thing. Reduced down to $250. Will not go any lower. And the SIT's drawings. SIT certified drawings. That's down to one thousand dollars. All sets them one thousand. Can't get a better deal than that. So, please, somebody, help me get out from the red once again by buying the stamp album, or better, the sets. Okay, please. Uh, and then, once again, lost my train of thought. I got the end of the subject, and my train of thought goes. I had a rough day. Emotionally, mentally rough day. Hmm. Oh well, um... Is there anything else? Okay, well, yeah, this black bag right here, I got one of the Skylander shirts ordered, so... The remaining shirts will come in, and hopefully after I sell either the stamp album or the and or the drawings, I'll be able to. After the remaining shirts get here within a few days or less than a week, I'll be able to send the cards and the shirts out to the ten peop to the ten people from the from that giveaway. And also order the figures. I still need to do that. I'll take six, I'll take six weeks. Yeah. So yeah, buy the stamp album and the drawings. Help me out here, please. Help me out. That's pretty much the big topic on my mind. Finances is the big stressor in my life. Uh, if it weren't for financial problems, if we had a lot more money, if we didn't have the freaking mortgage and all the credit card debts, We'd be a lot, we'd be 
a lot more better off here at home. You can actually use the money for, you know, just, eh. Well, we do, we do a lot better, but we can't. <sighs> Just my life. My life. Welcome to it. Welcome to my life. Uh, I guess that's it for right now. So I'll do another Captain's Log video next week. So until then, everyone take care and have a good night.